Okay, trophy husbands, our wives spent a lot of money on our backyards, but what's the point if it's too hot and you don't use it? It's a waste of life. Misto is my answer. It's like AC for your backyard. We'll go over 10 things, the good, the bad, thermal testing, and other mist options because without mist, we're confined indoors. Totally, totally unhealthy. Might as well get a job. Number one, people love Misto. What is it? It's made by Lasco. They're known for the top rated fans since 1906. Construction people love their cute little high velocity fans. Well, add three misters, blades inside here that oscillate the mist left to right, manually be able to lift it up or down, three speed settings on the side here, weatherproof this bad boy, and you have a powerful little mister in a small package. I'm reviewing the Misto 7054, the latest Misto in blue here, which is lighter than the old black one, 13 pounds instead of 16, and is now just $120 instead of $160. People love the old one. This one is better, hopefully, and cheaper. Number two, before you buy the Misto, consider your Mist options. Obviously, I went with the Misto, but these other options are also great. You can buy an Orbit Mist Stand, Mist on a Stick, easy, simple, done. Links for all this is below. Of course, if you already have an outdoor fan, just buy a Mist Kit for it. I was actually shocked by how expensive good weatherproof fans are to begin with. If you want a Mist fan that runs on batteries, spend a little bit more money than you would on the Misto and get the Geek Air. They even make versions with water tanks built in. It doesn't oscillate, but you can bring it anywhere, beach parties, people will love you. I don't really wanna deal with batteries right now or go places. A full misting system is the most powerful cooling option. Mist everywhere, max AC outside, good low pressure ones start at just 20 bucks. So I looked into making the best possible one I could from scratch. I want the theme park mist. I want to dance underwater and not get wet. However, you'll quickly find that even the best rated low pressure nozzles will soak everything because the pressure that comes from your garden hose just isn't enough to create that fine mist. Now the wives are already too hot or too cold. You don't want to add too wet to your list of trophy husband problems. You need to up the pressure if you want fine mist, the type used by restaurants, dance underwater, or read a book underwater and not get wet. This mist comes from high pressure systems. Now, decent high pressure systems, 1000 PSI, start at over $1,000 and go way up from there, especially if you have installation. But as I said, trophy husbands, your wife spent God knows how much on your backyard and it's scorching hot and useless right now. If your backyard doesn't look like the fog is just rolling in, you're screwing up. Now, if you just want a higher quality mist fan, there's no point in buying a super expensive fan that still uses your hose pressure because now you just have a loud gale force wind that leaves you all wet. Not in a good way. So if you're spending money, upgrade the mist to match it to at least 200 PSI, a system with 200 PSI. It won't be the 1000 PSI fog rolling in, but it also shouldn't get you wet when it's hot because it's way more pressure than your garden hose. And that means a much, much finer mist. This one's 300 bucks from iLiving. It looks good. I don't know if it is, might be a good option. Plus you need a decent outdoor fan to attach it to. Yeah, the all the high pressure stuff is bougie. You can read books, eat outside, sounds awesome, but any of these low pressure options are still incredible if you just want to enjoy your backyard in hot weather. Who reads paper books anyway? Now get a waterproof Kindle or something. You'll be dry in a minute or two and without any mist at all. Life is just miserable. Number three, fan power. It's absurdly powerful for its little size. The volume is only 350 CFM, not much, but it's 50 more CFM than a super popular Lasco Stanley blower. And there's a reason these types of fans are popular in construction. It's, it's not because they're cute, which they are. It shoots a powerful cylinder of air. I clocked it at 20 miles per hour. That's great for ventilation or propelling mist like a cannon. We're talking up to 20 feet. I found it ideal at about 10 to 15 feet. I give this tiny fan a fan power of 9.1 
out of 10. Number four, oscillating fan score. It has propellers inside that direct the air left to right. So it's not going anywhere near as wide as a regular oscillating fan. And up close, you can't even feel that it's changing direction. However, those little propellers do a great job if you're about 10 feet back. I was getting an area of about seven feet wide of powerful mist at 10 feet back, and then it continued to spread out and dissipate up to 20 feet away. It feels great, cools you down, goes away, and in hot weather, you're pretty much dry by the time it comes back. At 10 feet away, I give it an eight out of 10 for oscillating up close. It's nothing, it's a zero, it's a zero out of 10. Number five, the mist quality of Misto. Chris says the mist gets you wet even several feet away, exclamation mark. Well, I've got news for you, Chris. Mist is made of water, and if you blast your face with water, it makes you wet. Even my dog knows that, you complete moron. No, I'm kidding. This is actually a common complaint. High velocity fans shoot air in a small cylinder like a jet, so with mist, you'll get completely soaked if you're right in front of it. You really need to be more than several feet away or point the fan up and then the mist feels absolutely amazing, especially when it oscillates dry off, the cool mist comes back. At 10 feet back, I give the low pressure mist quality that it is a 9.5 out of 10. It's heaven. And uh, the fan build, I think the fan build quality is a 9.6 out of 10. The Mist hardware, however, at first glance, looks like shit. Lasco uses these plastic nozzles with a rare 1 8th NPT thread. Most Mr. fans use little metal nozzles with standard threads because metal doesn't strip and they're super easy to replace. However, through a little research, I found that the plastic nozzles that Lasco went with are actually significantly more expensive than the average brass Mr. nozzles. And I must say, they produce a really fine mist. And you do need to be more careful when you clean. These plastic does strip much more easy, but uh, they come with a few extra nozzles for even finer mist. And brass nozzles would be nice, but upgrading to metal nozzles of this size, this thread size is extremely expensive, too expensive for the price point of this misto. Now as for regulating the amount of mist, this cheap valve does nothing. It's just an on off switch. Misters are either completely on or completely off. Anything less, it's just dribble, not mist. Now the way to fix that, in my opinion, would be to add brass shutoffs on each individual nozzle. People getting too wet in wetter areas could just shut off a couple nozzles and then the metal ports would also prevent people from destroying their entire misto if they strip one one port it's not going to happen because it's metal now no fan company has actually done this yet because they're just not as smart as me it has nothing to do with the fact that expensive brass fittings would probably make this fan unprofitable dale writes cheap plastic hose connection leaks dale's right while the connection they use is actually a higher quality brass adapter and the one fourth inch hose here the sprinkler line is pretty high quality, very high quality. It's still a plastic sprinkler crap that's easy to break. And so if you step on the cord, you break the cord or this little blue plastic piece breaks, now the entire fan is just gonna be garbage. I don't understand this. People are just gonna plug this into a hose anyway. Why would you add a sprinkler line, a nine foot sprinkler line? You could have just swapped out the brass sprinkler fitting here for a brass, a nice brass hose connection right here. It's bizarre. This is an amazing, powerful fan, but then you add a cheap sprinkler line to it. That's like putting a jet engine in a junkyard car. It makes no sense. The sprinkler line will break as sprinkler lines do, and now you have a jet engine for no reason. Now, I originally wanted the whole misting engineering team to resign at Lasco as well as the CEO, but after some anger management, I've realized that I don't actually know anything about mist fans, and normal people can just buy the replacement parts from Lasco at a reasonable price on their website. It's a great company since 1906. So, quality of mist produced for low pressure is 9.5 out of 10. Fan build quality, 
9.6. I give the Miss Hardware quality a 6 out of 10. It's excellent, but I have uneducated complaints about the plastic design of it. Number six, noise level. It's very quiet for this much air. I give it a nine out of 10, very impressive. I did have some squealing noise that came from fluctuations in my home water pressure, but that went away on its own. Number seven, maneuverability. Ashley writes, works well and needs a longer cord. Yeah. It does, but you can't expect much more than a six foot GFCI protected cord for the price point we're at here. These things are expensive and they get expensive as you extend them. Now I added an extension cord with a waterproof connection. The floor does get wet, so make sure that your outlet is also GFCI protected if you use an extension cord with this guy. Yeah, it's uh, lightweight, 13 pounds, small, nice handle on it, weatherproof. I give it an 8.7 out of 10 for maneuverability. This little thing can go anywhere. 10 out of 10 with my simple upgrades on it. Number eight, maintenance. Nine out of 10. It's nothing compared to maintaining an entire mist system, nozzles, broken lines, all that. This just has three nozzles on it and you can take them out to clean them, soak them in CLR or vinegar for any clogs. Also, you should probably add one of these calcium filters to help with that. Also to prevent any white calcium from drying everywhere. I've got tons of calcium in my water here. It's annoying. This helps a little bit. Yeah, you can even leave this thing outside its weather resistant uv and rust resistant it would have been a 10 out of 10 but we need to be gentle with its plastic parts number nine thermal test i tested it out on a day that it was around 117 degrees in the sun with surface temperatures scorching way way above that and the air in the shade was 104 degrees with surface temperatures about the same as that it starts to cool down the area as soon as you start it up. It starts to feel good. You can see the surface temperatures are darker here, lower on the mist side, but the thermal camera just really doesn't do this justice. The body is still 98 degrees, so that heat still shows on this camera. But if this camera could capture the feeling of cool, the cool feeling is maxing out. And you do get a little wet when it's direct. Okay, a little more than a little bit, but when it's this hot out, you're dry in a few seconds. And the mist feeling is immediate, and then it starts to slowly reduce the air temperature. In about 15 minutes, the air leveled out at about 84 degrees from 104. Pretty incredible. I would say it's a 9 out of 10 for temperature reduction for this tiny little unit. Especially because my hose was in direct sunlight, which makes the water extremely hot in it when it's sitting there in the sun. I would bet that if my hose was in the shade, it would be maybe another 10 degrees cooler. It's got to be cooler if it's running off cold water. The water coming out of it's like a hot shower. This test also didn't show the oscillating fan on, and I feel like it gets even cooler with it on, even though it spreads the mist out over a larger area because it ends up reducing the surface temperatures and that radiant heat from surrounding areas like the cement around you uh, it feels like it feels like an oven and the the oscillating fan just cools all of that down i give it a nine out of ten for temperature reduction considering this is a tiny little fan of course if you had misters everywhere it's going to dramatically lower the temperature Number 10, value. This is a $130, 300 CFM, super popular Lasco Stanley fan. Add 50 CFM more to that, make it waterproof. That's a big deal, that gets really expensive. Add oscillating blades to it and a few misters. And then it drops the price to only 120 bucks. Yeah, I would say the value is fantastic, 9.5 out of 10. Would I like to see all brass parts on it? Maybe some $30 brass nozzles? Sure. Would that make Lasco go bankrupt? Maybe. Maybe it would. Okay, that's it. The fan's great for what it is. I love it. Small, portable. For what it is, I'm going to give it an overall score of 9.2 out of 10. Stay classy, trophy husbands.